So here we've got an interesting little product that Pete has alluded to in his According to Pete. This is something that he found and he is going to use in his audio project, most likely. This is a slide potentiometer. It's linear and it's 10K, but it's motorized. So it's got this motor at the end, so the actual slide can be motorized. So you can send it one way, you can go back, and the other nice thing is, since the potentiometer actually has two taps on it, you can monitor where that slider is on the whole range of the potentiometer, and then you can precisely control the motor. So it's almost like a linear actuator, if you will. So you can use one of those potentiometer readings for a feedback loop, and then you can use the other one to read into your microcontroller or whatever else. So these are really cool because you can precisely control the position of the slider, and we had a couple little demos where we would set the slider at a value, press a button, it would record the analog value, and then when we could move it, we could hit another button and it would recall back to that level. These are the things that are found in like a recording studio where they have the monitored motorized levels. We also have a knob to fit these because it does have a little bit of a weird connector right there. So we've got a knob that fits directly onto it. So we took these and put them together into an interesting little project. So let's take a look and see what we built with these. So we just talked about these and here is the little project that we made. This is a um, brainchild of me, but Nick ultimately created it. And this is Nick, so this is the guy that you're gonna be seeing in all the new product videos for the next month until I get back. So here it is, this is Mechanical Pong. What we've done is we've taken four of these linear potentiometers, a little bit of Maker Beam, a um, couple of Arduinos with the Arjumoto shields, and a couple of these paddles, which just use a potentiometer. This ball, simulated here by a little spark fun flame, will move around by getting moved by the two potentiometers, and then we can move the paddles individually, and we can play mechanical pong. And we've even got a little readout here that will tell us the score. So, let's look at it and play. All right, let's, let's do it. it. And after each hit, it actually gets a little bit faster, so this will start to get a little bit more difficult. Aha! So we've got one more little feature with this machine. We're going to show you how fast it can go. We've got it set up that, and we connect this little pin and turn it on. It will go into demo mode, which will essentially ignore the paddles and just go as fast as it can go. So at each time it goes back and forth, it's gonna speed up and we're gonna see how fast this can go. And at this point it gets pretty much impossible. So pretty cool. And there's a lot of different uses for these motorized potentiometers other than motorized pong.